Welcome to Mini Electrics 101. The first thing we'll be looking at is the battery. On our circuit diagram it's fairly easy to identify. The battery is a heavy box full of sulfuric acid. They don't put these warnings on there for nothing. Unless it gets on something tender, the acid won't burn immediately, giving you plenty of time to wash it off. However, it can blind you if it gets in your eyes. And although you wouldn't deliberately put a source of ignition near the battery, but consider you might accidentally short out the positive terminal to the chassis while you're undoing it. So for that reason, undo the earth strap first. Battery acid can also eat holes through the metalwork, so be sure to flush any spills away with plenty of water. A little bit of baking soda in the water might help as well. The current flows from the positive terminal in the battery to a component on the car, through the component activating it, and then to earth on the chassis. The current can then run back through the chassis to the other side of the battery, thus completing the circuit. We can see this on our circuit diagram. Here is the battery. And here is the power cable that runs through the front of the car. Current can then pass through the component to earth and back through the chassis to the earth strap where it completes the circuit back to the battery. Wherever you see this symbol on the circuit diagram, it means that that component is connected to the chassis, and the chassis is connected to the earth strap that goes back to the battery. Most car batteries have cylindrical connection posts, and the positive terminal is usually slightly larger than a negative one. Terminal connectors are slightly different sizes as well to help make certain that you get the right ones on the right posts. One of the most common problems on batteries is a build up of verdigris on the terminal posts. Hot water will easily get rid of it, and coating the terminal post and the terminal clamp with Vaseline will help stop the problem building up. Don't forget to check the earth strap too including where it's bolted to the chassis. Also be careful if you notice that the fluid level in the battery is getting down because a flat battery will absorb a lot of the liquid and if you top it up when it's flat and then charge it the liquid will overflow and if the battery is still in the car this is why this happens. If you want to know more about battery maintenance, just Google it. The purpose of this tutorial is to go through the circuit diagram rather than an in-depth look at the maintenance of individual components. Please accept this tutorial in the spirit intended. If something goes wrong, accept it and fix it. And don't blame everybody else.